Okay, so here we are. Devil May Cry 5, the latest entry into the series and the final game for now that we are looking at for this franchise. I saw this DMC journey way back in August of last year and I must say, I was totally missing out on this series. I'll explain. For the longest time, the only hack and slash experience I had before diving into this series was Bayonetta. And honestly, I didn't think it'd get any better than that within the genre, so of course, I was wrong. So curiosity kind of got the best of me and I wanted to see what Devil May Cry as a series had to offer, kind of being an OG when it comes to this gameplay style, you know? So I decided to take you guys on that ride with me. So thank you guys so much for being patient as I put these reviews out. And yes, I plan on doing a DMC ranking video after this review, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get into Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Yeah, I'm playing this on the PS5 because, well, this is one of the games that I actually missed out on on the PS4 and the Virgo DLC is included, so... Yeah, let's get it. So Devil May Cry 5 was released originally back in 2019, with the special edition being released about a year later. Capcom went into this game with new players and veterans in mind. They wanted this game to be accessible by including multiple levels of difficulty. Also, thanks to the RE engine, which is the most realistic and true to life the series has ever looked. This is the third game on the channel that we covered that uses the RE engine. The RE engine is a proprietary graphics engine used by Capcom that gives us realistic settings and character models. And man, games like Resident Evil Village, RE2, remake these are some of the best looking games of the last generation platforms and even now there's not many games that i feel look better than these titles so same goes for dmc5 so for a quick plot summary, the game starts off with Nero, Dante, Trish, and Lady battling this demon named Urizen. Nero pretty much gets demolished by this demon and gets thrown out of this fortress-like tower, with his sword, the Rebellion, being shattered. We also notice that Nero is missing his iconic demon arm from DMC4. Now, this is addressed later in a cutscene in a gruesome scene with Nero getting his arm ripped off by a very familiar demon. Lady and Trish is also defeated and absorbed by Urizen, which pretty much just leaves Dante, who is also defeated. We are also introduced to this character named V, who is this mysterious being that is introduced fairly early in the game. We later find out that V is the manifestation of Virgo, Dante's brother, humanity, which is a crazy concept in itself. There is also much more revealed in this game, but due to possible spoilers, I'm just going to say... Go play this game for yourself. But this game does answer some questions that may have been posed in previous titles. But out of all the DMC games, this is the one that I enjoyed the most story-wise. Now, looking at the presentation, since I'm playing the PS5 version, this game runs at a very smooth 60 frames per second with support for ray tracing and a high frame rate mode if your monitor or television supports it. Like I stated earlier, the game is running on the RE engine. So the character models, the environments, the boss fights, all that looks fantastic and by far the best the series has ever looked. I love it. The music, the cinematography, the camera angles, all that is super smooth and as a result we have one of the best looking games on the PS5. Now in terms of the gameplay, before we jump into this, I am playing this on turbo mode which is the mode I prefer to play games like this on. Turbo mode increases the gameplay speed which makes the game feel more kinetic and much smoother for me. I don't know, maybe because I'm used to the gameplay speeds of Bayonetta, I'm just conditioned to like a faster hack and slash. Anyway, throughout the story you'll play as Nero, Dante, and V in attempts to stop all demons who get in your way. Nero, he pretty much controls the same way he did in DMC4 with his sword combos and such. Now instead of having a demon arm, Nero actually has these custom arm pieces called Devil Breakers, which you find all over the field or you can just simply purchase them from Nico and her Devil May Cry van. By the way, I love Nico and her deep southern accent. She adds so much needed charm and personality. I love it. The Devil Breakers can range from long range attacks and also attacks for those who like to get up close and personal, like me. There are even callbacks to other Capcom franchises, with the most notable being the Mega Buster from Mega Man, which is pretty cool to use. It isn't the strongest weapon in the arsenal, but it's still cool either way. Dante pretty much controls the same as he did in DMC 3 and 4, still sporting multiple styles, and in DMC 3, I was a huge fan of the trickster style, but as I've gotten more into DMC 4 and this game, the Swordmaster style has really grown on me, and that is the style I usually will go to for an entire playthrough now. V's gameplay is probably the most unique out of all the characters. He controls a panther named Shadow and his companion bird to fight off enemies, kind of reminding me of Astral Chain on the Switch. For my first playthrough, I really did not care for his gameplay style at all but later on and in my second playthrough it really grew on me especially when you level them up quite a bit 
the one thing that really draws me to the Devil May Cry series are the boss fights. And man, did this game have some really cool fights. My favorite boss in the entire game is Cavalier Angelo, followed by the Goliath. Angelo is just an epic, fun boss fight. Tons of destruction and just pure adrenaline. And Goliath is just a spectacle. With all the environmental destruction, it's just fun to watch. The rest of the boss fights are fun as well and offer plenty of style and scope. So yeah, check them out. Devil May Cry 5 is one of the best games, if not the best game in the Devil May Cry franchise to some. You can really tell the devs put a ton of love in this game and I had a blast playing through it. If you're a fan of DMC, you already own and love this game. But even if you're new to the series, there is plenty here for you to love. You can even replay the game as Virgo, which I tried over on my Twitch channel. Shameless plug. Go follow. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.